okay? Um, this is going to be a manifestation reading for all signs, okay? We're not being biased. I'm not, Spirit told me not to do just each sign. This is for everybody, so anybody can do this, okay? So today is the 9th, July 9th. Okay, today is a new moon. Depending on where you are, it could be the 10th, okay? It could be tomorrow. Um, so it depends on your time zone. Look it up, okay? Um, but for those of us, I guess you can stay like on the East Coast, um, ours is going to be illuminated at what is that? 9 16 9 16 p.m okay so if you've never done a new moon ritual before i'm gonna give you you know the basis okay um so what you want to do is i want you guys to sit for a minute okay um really think about what your intentions are Okay, if y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at my notes. Okay, um, but I want you guys to set your intentions every month. This is something that we're going to do once a month for all the signs. Okay, so I want you to set your intentions for today, for today's new moon. Okay, um, what it is that you want. Okay, it doesn't have to be materialistic. It could be spiritual. Okay, it could be something personal to you. Um, such as, you know, creating better relationships with people around you, um, illuminating negativity in your life so it can be removed, okay, removing anything that doesn't serve you, whatever it may be, okay? If you want to do it like a burning bowl ritual, write down everything that you want to remove from your life. Okay, it could be spiritual, it could be emotional, it could be material, whatever it is. Okay, set your intentions today. Okay, so when 916 comes, I want you to really sit and manifest what it is that you want in your life or to be removed from your life. The 17th, July 17th, okay, that's the first quarter moon. The first quarter moon, and this is important, I want you to really listen to these dates because each month, this is what I'm going to do, okay? So on the 17th, that is going to be your midway point, okay? That's the point where you want to see, assess your progress of your goal of what you're trying to maintain, okay? So if healthier eating is your intention, this is an example. If healthier eating is your intention set for tonight, okay, by the 17th, you should have made progress towards that, okay? So you may find yourself buying more fruits and vegetables, drinking more water, which we've been promoting on, on IG here during the self-care reads, okay, um, to drink more water. Okay, so you'll start noticing you're changing those aspects of your life. Okay, so by the 17th, I want you to assess your progress and say, oh, I started walking more or I started exercising more. Um, I have changed my eating habits. Um, maybe you let something go that, you know, a bad habit that you no longer do anymore, like smoking or whatever the case may be. Okay, kind of set that intention. By the 17th, you should see progress, okay? Mind you, with manifestations, you have to do the work in order for it to come. So I'm trying to help you create a new habit, okay? At the same time, help you manifest whatever your goal is, okay? So come the full moon, okay? We have the full moon on the 23rd, okay? On the 23rd. And that full moon time frame, Eastern time, is going to be, what is that, 10.37, 10.37 p.m., okay, Eastern time. Others of you, if you're, you know, wherever you are, your time zone, it's going to hit a little bit different, okay? So if you're three hours behind Eastern, then it's probably going to hit you three hours after, okay? Okay. Um, the new moon. 
um, full moon, sorry. So full moon, okay, um, that is where you should have achieved your goal, okay? Um, have you achieved your goal? I want you to ask yourself that question. Have I achieved my goal? Okay. If you haven't achieved it, don't feel down on yourself. Okay. Don't feel down on yourself. At least you should be, if not completely achieved your goal, you should be close to achieving your goal. Okay. So don't be too hard on yourself. If it's not actually on the 23rd, it could happen the next day. Um, that you've achieved your goal. Like if your goal is to drop like 10 pounds by full moon, then that means you need to be putting in the work, watching what you eat, getting your exercise and things of that nature. This is pushing you, okay, to help you reach your goal. If you're serious about it, I should be able to see in the comments that you have been able to reach your goal this month, okay? So, the reason why I wanted you guys to pay attention to those details is because we are going to use the Moonology deck, okay? I've been telling y'all that I got this deck um, and that we're going to rock with this eventually, and now we are, okay? So what I am going to do is I'm going to draw three cards, okay? We're going to pull out three cards. Um, each card is a placement for the dates that I just gave you, okay? So as far as um, the first card is gonna be in reference to the new moon, what is your mindset? What should your mindset be, okay, towards this intention or goal, okay? That's the new moon placement for today. The second question is going to be, will um, you have made any progress, okay? during the first quarter moon, okay? When the first quarter moon is here, which is on the 17th. The third question in placement is, has the intention or goal been achieved, okay? And within that, we're gonna get some messages, okay? Some channeled messages. And whoever it is for, if y'all know the saying, take what resonates and pass the rest to the next. Okay, so that means if it's your intention or if it fits towards your intention, then this was meant for you. That's why Spirit told me we are not doing individual signs. We are doing this as a collective. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to go in. Knock three times so Spirit knows that we ready. Okay, let's go. Spirit, angel gods, one card for the new moon. What should be the mindset towards the intention or goal of the collective? What should be the mindset for the intention or goal of the collective? should be the intention or goal for the collective. Okay. Three cards flipped over. Spirit is saying take those three cards because those three cards are for all the placements. So I do not need to keep shuffling any further. Okay, let's see what we have. Okay, Spirit will be keeping these. We're keeping all of these, 
the message is coming in. Okay, so I'm going to show you all these cards and then we'll talk about each placement. Okay, so we have the energy is gaining momentum for the new moon today. Okay, you and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Okay. So we literally just... Yeah. Today is the, the new moon. And this is now Cancer season. Okay. So new moon in Cancer. Okay. Nothing will come of the situation. Okay, void to course moon, void to course moon. Okay, so I know some of y'all like, because even I was like, wait, what? Nothing will come of this situation, but spirit said, hold, hold that thought. Okay, that is the third placement that is by full moon. Okay. With... The energy is gaining momentum, waxing moon, okay? The energy is gaining momentum. That is for our first question. What should be the mindset towards your intention or goal? You should believe in yourself, okay? Like I said during the explanation and laying out the details. The energy is gaining momentum. I feel like there's some of you out there that are trying to become a better version of yourself, okay? Um, you know that there are changes that need to be made in your life and you've just been struggling with attempting or to even go about those goals. It's like you'll start and then you'll stop. You'll start and then you stop. So it's there it's like the intention is there but it just has not been set in stone yet um and that is because you have been letting procrastination getting get in the way you have been letting self-doubt get in the way um you've been listening to what other people say um and not remembering that this is your life that you have to live so i feel like for some of you during this new moon if you decide to do a burning bowl ritual, like I said, it comes up in um, the self-care reads, um, not too often, but if, for a few signs it has, okay? Really sit down and get in tune with yourself and what it is that you want and need in your life and that you know you need in your life, okay? And that includes the things that you don't need. Burn, the, burn that list of the negativities and things that you don't want in your life that you know are no longer serving you even if it's down to a bad habit okay because the the energy is gaining momentum spirit god hears your call they hear your your call for assistance and they are there to help you they've given you the tools it's just up to you to really set it in stone that that's what you want to do because it's the best for you not because of what other people um, are telling you or are um, or putting in your ear, okay? Because there are some people that are praying on your downfall, not for your come up, okay? That's for that's for somebody. That's that's for a couple of people out there, okay? Because I'm feeling that energy, okay? Next, we have you and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, will this make any progress? Will you have made any progress? This is the second placement. Okay, this is in reference to the first quarter moon. Okay, on the 17th, you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, some of you may, um, I'm feeling like there's some of you that want to like protect your family. Um, create a legacy for your family um 
you feel like you are the provider for your family or you feel like you have been called to be the provider of your family um spirit wants you to know on this new moon okay your family the intentions that you set is what is going to save your family okay you making the changes necessary changes in your life is going to illuminate from you to your family you are going to you know that saying lead by example that is what's going to happen you are going to lead your family by example okay and because you set that example okay they are going to start making changes in their life what you learn and what you do for you is going to power other people and touch the people in your family you got to take care of you first okay that is the main thing spirit wants you to know is that you are going to have to take care of you first before you can help them if you pour into them more than yourself then you are left depleted while they are off you know doing them and living a great life not that there's anything wrong with that but it's going to be in a sense where they're going to forget what you have taught them okay they're going to forget you and when it's time for you to need healing you're going to be left alone to do it yourself okay so spirit is calling on you to be just a little bit selfish right now okay and put yourself as a first priority and then you can reach out by and by doing so you don't have to totally neglect them but you can just have them watch you have them watch you and the ones that are really serious will come to you and you will be able to teach them how to change their life to better suit their needs okay so the last one has the intention or goal been achieved nothing will come of this situation okay void of course mood a uh, moon okay so that means for those of you that are out there this shit ain't real it ain't gonna work i shouldn't have to do nothing okay for those of you that doubt your nothing will come of your situation okay nothing will come to fruition for you and you will continue to repeat the cycle until you learn your lesson okay there will be a karmic cycle that some of you are going to repeat because you are not trying to put in the work you want people to do things for you you want people to put things in your hands you want to just attain it and not do the work for it so for some of you no nothing will come of the intent that you set today okay because you want to do it the easy way unfortunately anything worth having anything worth having no matter what it is no matter what it is that you choose anything worth having you got to put the work in for it it cannot be handed to you it's just as simple as i want to stop smoking that's on you you have to put in the effort to stop smoking you have to be the one to stop buying cigarettes you have to be the one to stop smoking weed. Nobody can make you stop smoking weed. Someone can tell you all day long why smoking is bad for you. Someone can tell you why smoking weed, which I have nothing against smoking weed. I used to smoke. So I don't anymore. I had to stop. nothing wrong with it it's from the earth but as far as clearing up your mind and really opening and not suppressing you from what it is that you need to achieve your life purpose 
you have to stop. There's some things that you have to stop if you want to elevate, okay? So for some of you, yes, that's exactly what's going to happen, okay? Nothing will come of the situation because you will not put in the work, okay? There's a good amount of you that is not that are not going to put in the work. And so you can come in my comments later and talk about some, oh, it didn't work, blah, blah, blah. Well, it didn't work because you didn't do what you needed to do. That means doing the research, whatever your intention is. I don't know what everyone's intention is. This is for the collective. I'm not picking up on anything specific except for the little examples that I gave y'all. Those that want to eat right, those that want to stop smoking, um, those that want to exercise more, things of that nature. Anything worth, and that's why Spirit has me repeating this, anything worth having to you. Anything worth having for you, this is your intention, okay? Anything you feel that's worth having, you're going to have to put the work in, okay? For others of you that um, believe and will do this, there's going to be people around you that are going to um, keep it to yourself. Don't tell everybody what you're doing. This is for you, okay? Okay? Um, because there's going to be some that are going to be doubters and that are going to detour you from completing your goal, okay? And that will be the reason why you do not achieve your intention, okay? So keep things under wraps until this cycle is complete, okay? Until you achieve your goal. Once you achieve your goal, then by all means, let everybody know. And that's, like I said, you are going to lead by example, okay? So you can kind of say this is pretty much what you need to do for the next two weeks, okay? Be mindful, like I said, keep this to yourself. Lead by example. Let people watch. Don't say nothing, okay? So that is all I have for you guys. Spirit said that's it. Um... Like I said, y'all can come back down in the comments below and let me know how you guys did for your first manifesting reading, okay? Y'all can let me know in the comments if you guys end up achieving your goals, but this is what will be um, coming in every month, um, manifestation reading for the collective, okay? So y'all take care, peace, and happy manifesting.